G'day everyone, we're up to uh, part 7 I believe of the uh, Irish Warband Project series. Um, it is Thursday afternoon here in the first week of June and uh, knocking off for the day. So uh, guys last time you saw them hadn't had a huge amount done to them but now they have all had their flesh finished and the hair and most of the clothing. So I've still got um, there's some swords and belts, sword sheaths and belts to do. Um, shield decals, any metallic items, spear tips and things yet to be done. And obviously, the basin and all that. So there you have it. That's where we find ourselves at the end of Thursday. So, hopefully next time I show these guys to you, they will be completed. Hello again everyone, it's about 20 to 3 on Friday afternoon here and I've finished these figures. It took me a bit longer than I thought, but uh, sometimes that happens. Just got to go with the flow. So here they are, with their tufts and their decals and a coat of matte varnish. See, there's some these guys with mail, there's some, got some brighter colours, and still some duller colours mixed in, but with the nice contrast. Oh, some of them I've got like they've got bands around, coloured bands around their tunics. This guy over here has got a fur. And this chappy on the end here, he's got a bit of. Plaid. So there they are. So um, yeah, go through the drawer next and um, pick out some more to put up. Um, should be an interesting assortment. Um, I've got heading towards some of the command figures, I believe, and there's some. Um, Adjustments I need to make with those. Been talking with Mark, my customer, and um, we decided to do some adjustments with um, a couple of the command bases. So we'll see how that goes. We're gonna. One of the things we might try is to um, have Brian Baru sitting under a wee small tree on his own forty mil base. It'll have to be a small tree. And after I thought about it a while, also I can't make the tree out of like a converted bit of twig or anything like that it probably needs to be something off a plastic tree armature if I can find something appropriate um, because it's being sent by international post to New Zealand and um, anything organic um, the uh, New Zealand custom guys if the dog sniffs it or something so it gets picked up somehow it could cause problems you're not supposed to send Organic stuff like that through the post, really. Well, I certainly don't want to take that risk anyway and delay the package or cause a problem. So we'll see what we can do with some sort of little mini plastic tree. I'll have a rummage in amongst my terrain stuff. But um, we also um, found a banner uh, for the banner bearer for the big command stand. stand and um, so... I probably need to do some repositioning with that as well. So, um, yeah, um, that'll do for the moment. And if there's time, I'll show you what I've chosen to uh, work on next. Bye for now. Okay, guys, here's the plan. Um, in that lot we have the uh, figures of the, with the Irish War Band were some Vikings. So I've got them up on a stand. There's a priest up there, 
And I thought, oh, I'll just stick up as much as I, well, most of the stuff. Um, the only thing that's not out at the moment is the cavalry. I'll probably do that last. So there's some more character figures. There's the banner bearer. I had to, now we have a banner. I had one, little big man one, and um, it needed a bigger pole, so I had to get a new pole. Um, fortunately, I had a steel, some steel spears that I could cut down and use for that. Um, so there's that. Talking about cutting things down. <laughs> Here's the rough plan for the Brian Baru thing. I, I've I've sacrificed one of my armatures. <laughs> well, the top part. The thing is, the thing is, it could easily be disguised. Just some big, some lumps of clump foliage and things like that. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, I just sort of cut the top part out of it if we don't want a huge tree we can't you know it's going to be impractical on the table and for storage and things like that and as i said before we can't have anything organic so this is a plastic armature so brian baru is going to sit down in front of this in some way somewhat like that so um all i've done is i've sort of uh drilled out a bit of a depression there just slightly filled it with super glue glued that in and what i'll do is i'll then to strengthen the bond is i'll mix up some green stuff and um bulk it around the, the base and probably sculpt out some sort of very basic roots or something um just to give that a bit more bulk and strength before um putting sand on as well so hopefully that will uh the the, the green stuff will give a strong enough bond and um, we'll just have to pack this carefully when we send it but I think it should be all right with the green stuff and the super glue to keep it to keep it there I mean the thing is if it breaks mark use grab some um, two-part epoxy <laughs> that's what I would say um, but I'm gonna have a go with the super glue and the green stuff I think it needs the green stuff anyway just to try and incorporate it a bit better with the base with sort of building it up, widening it out a little bit at the bottom here and having some sort of very basic root structure. Um, and then Brian Baru will sit there. So, yeah, it's all going to take me a bit of extra time, but that's all right. That's cool. Anyway, guys, so after I finished those figures you saw earlier, I've just been finagling around with these and thinking about I'm going to do this and re-drilling out the hand on the banner guy and putting the banner on a pole and and um, yeah, that, that has to be painted, tidied up. Um, this white strip has to be gone along the side there and the pole painted up separately from the dude. Um, yeah, and then affixed to him and he's going to be on the base with this fella here so these two together all right so that is the basic plan of attack it's all going to take a while and after that there's still some cavalry to do but um yeah um i guess i'll be tackling the vikings first um unless i get distracted by doing some green stuff first instead but anyway food for thought and um i shall come back to all this on a monday now see you everyone take care and uh stay tuned for ooh, episode eight i guess bye